things about the tribe, however, though, was that Feldman, um, I think the fans were really psyched to see a lot of Edgar Frog, or see the amount of Edgar Frog that, Frog that they got to see. So I think that was something that was successful, and I think we build on that in this one, and that we get the frogs back together, which I think is a really, really exciting thing for me, certainly, to be back side by side with Edgar Frog, with, you know, the, my brother. And, uh, but I think it's also something that the fans have been looking for. And in defense of the tribe, I mean, you know, it was a building block. You know, let's face it, we wouldn't be here today doing this movie if it wasn't for the tribe. The tribe Absolutely. came out, it was, you know, a decent film, and it was, and it was very successful, you know. And, and what it showed us is that the fan base, the support was there, that people really, really wanted to see this film continue on. They wanted to see this franchise continue. And it gave us the basis to work from. And now, you know, we've got a little bit more leverage, a little bit more playing room, a little bit more credit on the playing field to be able to do the things that we wanted to do all along, which was really reuniting the Frog Brothers and getting them back into action. Now it's happened, now we're here, and I think that um, certainly based on, you know, the unanimous consensus after the screening last night is that the fans feel that they've gotten the film that they've been looking for. Uh, we were in yeah, the we screening with them. <clears throat> yeah. it, was, it was the first time I saw the movie, actually, and it was great to see the, it was great to see the movie with what 1,200 fans there last night, yeah. and uh, it was it was great, and they were loving it. They were they were cheering. They were a lot of love coming from them. And the good news is, you know, for whatever anybody wants to say about the tribe, um, obviously we didn't do too bad of a job because we got 1,200 people to come watch the premiere of the new one. So I don't think we lost anybody. I think maybe it was kind of just something to hold them over. It was kind of like to, to keep them you know complacent until they got the next film. And I think with this one we delivered. I think, you know, we, we crossed that milestone of, you know, going from that awkward, uncomfortable place to the place that they've been looking for. And I think now the limits are endless. I think the future is, you know, got great potential for where the Frog Brothers can, can go and grow uh, in, in, in future uh, upcoming films. I mean, the bottom line is, um, you know, the Frog Brothers have become kind of their own action heroes. And I think that there's many great storylines that can develop and uh, and engage from this point forward. And I think that uh, I think there's going to be a lot more in the future. You know, it's all supply and demand. At the end of the day, um, you know, if this film does as well or better than the last one does, then I can bet you that they're going to want to make more. I mean, that's just kind of the way it works. But it's really up to the fans. I mean, that's what it's about. That's why we're here. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the fans. Uh, we wouldn't be at Comic-Con if it wasn't for the fans. We would have never had the comic book series, which ties it all together so eloquently. Uh, and when you look at the film, if you see the film, uh, you'll see that there is a lot of comic book culture inside the film. I mean, that was really the, the base, the derivative of the first film anyway. It was rooted in the comic book world because the Frog Brothers were comic book store owners who ran a comic book store, knew everything about comic books, and then we were able to kind of, you know, loosely touch on that in the second film. And certainly with the third film, we bring a lot more of that up to the forefront of what the subtext and the plot line of the story is. Um, so it, it's very well submerged in the comic world, and I think that we'll probably continue with further comic books. I would I would see that as a, a relative possibility, uh, as well as possibly you never know, maybe a live action show, maybe an animated series, and certainly you know future films in the franchise. So. Um, I think this is possibly just the beginning. It's the end of a trilogy, but the beginning of a, a new wave of Lost Boys. And I think now that the frogs are back together, I think endless possibilities. I think we can take on anybody. They're stronger than ever. Yeah. And now that the frogs are back together, endless possibilities. <laughs>